Hello students, Eric Magidson here. In this two-part lab, we are going to look at creating a pseudo report with citations and a bibliography. We're going to look at citation styles. And then in part two, we're going to use that same report that we create to create a table of contents by using word styles of heading one, heading two, heading three, etc. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open up Microsoft Word by just coming down here, typing Word, and clicking on the program. <laughs> now, this is Microsoft Word installed on my computer. So this is the full version of Microsoft Word 2016. I'm gonna go ahead and choose blank document here and I'm ready to get started. Now, the first thing I need is some text. Now, some of you may be familiar with Lorem Ipsum text and <laughs> what we're gonna do to create that is we're gonna utilize the help file in Microsoft Word as some pseudo text this is a great way to get some text on the page without copying and pasting and ending up with some weird formatting. This is a great way to do it. You just type in equals R-A-N-D, which stands for random. We're gonna do a left parenthesis. I'm gonna do 30 comma five. And what that's gonna give me is it's going to give me 30 paragraphs with five sentences each. And it's always gonna pull the exact same content from the help file. So without a space, I just hit enter. And boom, the magic is done. We can see, let me make this smaller, not that way, Eric, this way, that I have many pages of text, okay? So let's go ahead and we'll go to the home page. I can hit, uh, hit control and home. And if you notice, my cursor goes to the first page. Now, like with any report, we need to start with the title, okay? So I'm gonna start typing a title. This is the title. of my practice report. I have a heck of a time typing on a video, just like typing in class. Now, if you notice, I've got the show hide paragraph marks on so I can see where paragraphs end. I can see if there's any special formatting. We're gonna see the value of that real soon. And from here, I'm gonna go to the home tab if I'm not already there and choose title. So this is gonna be the title of my report, I'm gonna center it on the page, and then I wanna give a little space between the title. So I'm gonna come up to the Layout tab, and if you notice here spacing, I'm gonna do Space Before. I'm gonna put 12 points of space before. That way it starts looking professional. Now what I said we're gonna cover in this first is citation. So I'm gonna to go to the References page, and I'm gonna just build some fake citations. So let's say that the second sentence here was a quote that someone had made this quote and I needed to put a citation in for it. So if you notice what I did is I put in the quotes, I'm on the references tab, I've clicked there and I'm gonna click insert citation. Now what I wanna do is add a new source that references where this quote, where I found this quote. And in this case, I'm gonna start with a book. So I'm gonna start with a book and I'll just do regular book. And then I need to put an author. Now, <coughs> if you notice I'm in MLA style, which is the style we use at our college, but I am gonna show you how easy it is to switch, but I'm gonna do everything in MLA initially. Now, when I put in an author, especially if I have multiple authors, I need to know if the comma or semicolon, et cetera, it's gonna do that for me. I'm just gonna come in and say, edit an author. I'm gonna put my wife as the first author um, because if I wrote a book, I'd write it with her. Uh, and then here we are again because she's smarter, folks, that's why. If you were questioning, I'll put me in. Now, if you notice, both authors are listed here and I'll choose okay. Okay, so what you should be doing for this assignment is following me and doing this. So hopefully what you're doing is you're pausing the video, you're putting in the citation, and you're following along. This is not a co corporate author. We're going to say the title of this book is How to Become a successful computer nerd. And if you notice, there is no autocorrect here, so we have to make sure. We're gonna write that in 2018. We're gonna have written it in New York. Don't ask me why. Pub publisher is going to be New Nerd Publishing. And then the medium in this case is ebook, okay? <laughs> so if you notice, if there were more um, references to this citation that I want to put in, who the editor was, any more information, the state, the region, 
I can click the show all bibliography fields and put in the ones that are needed. Now, if you notice, the ones with the little red, you can see them there, are the recommended fields in order to provide a complete bibliography. Bibliography, can't seem to say that word. At that point, I'll choose OK. And if you notice, I have my citation and my source in the content. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll come down here and let's say, you know, this whole thing was a, um, was a reference to another web page, maybe. So I'll come down here, I'm going to insert another citation, and I'm going to add a new source. We'll see how valuable this is in just a minute. So I'm going to say add new source. This time it's going to be a web page. So there's a web page. And the author of this page of the web page is going to be Gates. I don't know if he goes by William or Bill, but in my example, it's going to be William Gates. So William Gates is the author. The name of the web page is How I Became a Successful Nerd. Okay, so this was written back in 2010. Month, we'll say, is October and 12th. Year accessed, well, that would be when I access the web page. So that's going to be 2018. Um, in this case, it would be 7. And the day would be 23. That's the day I created this. And of course, this is um, the World Wide Web. Let's not confuse that with the internet. Some people might say that's the internet. So there's a website. Here's the information. If I wanted to, I could show all of the information that's needed. Okay, and off we go. So I'll say OK. And there is my MLA style. Okay, now I have two citations in there. I'll go add one more just at the end here. Do an insert citation. Do add new source. Let's go ahead and do an article from a periodical. We'll make up a name. So Jane Doe wrote this book. Remember, if I have multiple authors, I just come up here, fill this out again, and choose Add. The title is going to be Nerds Are Taking Over the World. Periodical title, I don't know. This is Psychology Today. I don't know. Sounds fun. Year, 2014. Month, we'll go with 9. Day, 12. Pages is going to be 45 through 48. Yes, I don't have much imagination. And medium is going to be a magazine. <laughs> Oops, let's do it right. Let's go printed magazine. Okay, and we'll say okay. Now, here is one key that I want to point out. I am in MLA style, and if I choose APA style, for example, okay, and I go back to my gates, and I edit the source, I'm going to see different required fields. So if you do change this, make sure you come back. Notice now it wants the URL. So I'm going to type in the URL. Okay, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www and then the website name, you know, whatever it was, Nerds of America or let's go American Nerds dot com forward slash uh, successful nerd. So that would be the, what they entitled the page, okay? So the website here is America, American Nerds. Savvy? There we go. We'd say okay. And yes, you know, this source exists in the master list. Do we want to update it? Yes, I'm going to show you that master list in just a second. So here we go. We have some citations and we're ready to go all the way down to the bottom and of course create a bibliography. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this blank paragraph here. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to come to the last paragraph, to the Insert tab, and I'm going to insert a page break. So this page break, if you notice, takes my cursor, puts it on a new blank page at the end. That's where we would normally find a bibliography. 
At that point, once I know my cursor is on a new blank page, let me bring up that page a little bit, I'm going to come in here to References, and I'm going to choose the Bibliography. At this point, I've got a couple different styles, a Bibliography, Reference, Works Cited, or I could just do a standard Bibliography, lists all the sources in the Bibliography or Works Cited section, but without the formatting. If you notice, this has a nice formatting. It says Bibliography, so I'm going to click on it, and there is my bibliography. It's in perfect form and it's ready to go. Okay, so if this makes sense, that is a bibliography. These are works cited. And if you notice, it was three clicks to a bibliography. I look forward to finishing our basics of our report in the next part of this lab. Take care.